John William Strutt, third Baron Rayleigh, was born in 1842, being the son of the second Baron Rayleigh of Turling Place, Witham, Essex, and received his school education under Mr. Warner at Torquay. In 1861, he entered as a fellow commoner at Trinity College, Cambridge. Dating from that time, his mathematical powers began to assert themselves, and in 1865, he graduated in the mathematical tripos as senior wrangler. He also gained the first Smith's Prize. In 1866 he obtained a fellowship at Trinity, which he held till his marriage in 1871. He became a fellow of the Royal Society in 1873, and in 1879 succeeded Maxwell as Professor of Experimental Physics at Cambridge. Since 1884, when he gave up Cambridge, his experimental work has been mainly done in the country at Turling, where was also carried out the work connected with the density of gases which led to the discovery of argon. During the first period of his work, up to 1879, when he became professor at Cambridge, his researches were mainly mathematical. Thus the Philosophical Magazine for 1871 and 1872 contains a series of most important papers on optics, and a little later, in 1873, another series of very interesting investigations relating to vibrating systems in general. The latter series, together with other work of kindred character, form the leading contents of his great work, The Theory of Sound. In Cambridge, Maxwell had built the Cavendish Laboratory and equipped it with apparatus. It fell to Lord Rayleigh to organize it. There was need for a higher school of experimental physicists, as well as for teaching of a more elementary character. Lord Rayleigh devoted himself to satisfying both these needs. Under his active supervision, a system of practical instruction in experimental physics was devised. The number of students attending the classes grew rapidly from year to year. At first there were some five or six, but in 1884, when Lord Rayleigh ceased to be professor, there were seventy, while in 1892 that number had increased to about a hundred and forty. Among other work while professor of physics at Cambridge, we must not omit to mention Lord Rayleigh's researches which led to the establishment of the standards of resistance, current, and electromotive force, researches conducted with the nicest experimental acumen, a series of papers, investigations in optics, and a paper on the electromagnetic theory of light, etc., etc., also belong to the Cambridge period. In 1885, Lord Rayleigh became one of the secretaries of the Royal Society, and a few years later, Professor of Natural Philosophy at the Royal Institution, being successor to Tyndall. In his new position, he continued his work on electric and magnetic problems. In the article Wave Theory, in the Encyclopedia Britannica, he summed up in a masterly manner our knowledge of the theory of light. He also worked on the theory of surface tension, and on reflection from liquid surfaces in the neighborhood of the polarizing angle, etc., etc. Of the very greatest importance are Lord Rayleigh's researches on the densities of the gases in the air, which led to the discovery of argon, and obtained for him the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1904. The main features of these investigations have been explained elsewhere in this publication, and need therefore not be dwelt upon more here. In the collection of scientific papers, in which the whole work of Lord Rayleigh, with exception of his theory of sound, is recorded, the original papers relating to the densities of the gases are also reprinted. In 1905, he resigned his professorship at the Royal Institution, and at the close of the year, he was elected president of the Royal Society. For six years past, he has been president of a committee on explosives, which sat at the War Office, London, which post Lord Rayleigh has just resigned. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.